Night Shot is a 2018 found footage film because Kaylee and I are on a found footage Binger. kick. <laughs> Binger works as well. Yes. Um, ever since we watched a movie called God Forsaken, which we'll talk about in a few movies from now. But for now, we're going to go backwards in the way that we watch them, with this being the most current because it's on my mind. Now, Night Shot is meant to look like one take. A la something like 1917. You know the gimmick. Um, now, this is a French film. And uh, we follow a woman who is taking us through a haunted... Um, it, was, it wasn't an it's asylum. Like a sanitarium. sanitarium. So it's like a hospital, but they did have wards for crazy people. Sure. So... Um, now, off the bat, I will say the location is stellar, right? Mm -hmm. So they found a really cool location, and kudos to them for attempting this whole thing to look like one shot. Now, whether or not they did it in one shot, I highly doubt it, but I didn't see a lot of places for cuts, but you can get pretty clever with that kind of stuff, so mm -hmm. I'm sure they're there. Um, and there's certain little spots where I was like, yeah, it's probably there. But if they actually did this in one take, that's super crazy impressive. Mm -hmm. I, I highly, highly doubt that, though. Um, but if, you know, you worked on the movie or you know better, let us know. Um, but, okay. So, location is super cool. Yes. Um, and kudos to them for going in here. Because even though if you scout this thing and all that, this is an abandoned building. And there are dangers that come with it. Because... This movie don't have no budget. I doubt they got any permits. Even if they did, that place is fucking, like, dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. floors can collapse. It's dilapidated. The yeah. elements have gotten to it. Who knows how long it's been like that. You know, the roof is caved in in, in places, I'm sure. And, and water has come in. And it corrupts the foundation. And it is super, super dangerous to be in places like that. There's a reason why. They're always, you know, no trespassing, off limits. You're not supposed to be in there because you could fucking die. Yeah. Um, or get really, really super injured. Um, so that's all very cool. And I and I, and I I give them credit for that. I think the lead girl's performance is good. I yes. think that she is a solid actress. She's very believable. Um, now, the, f the problem with the film is that it, you know, it plays off of that. Uh, type of style and story like a Grave Encounters or something, right? Except for in Grave Encounters, like, you're engaged from moment one to moment's end because they have the budget or they have, I don't know what, but they have something to, to, to do stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to say nothing happens in the film because that is just not accurate. But not, nothing happens for too long. Yeah. And when things start to happen, I don't know. There's, one of my biggest issues with the film is the cameraman. I was just going to say Who that. we never see. We hear him, obviously, mm -hmm. but we never see him. And there is no sense of urgency with this guy. He never runs. He's never scared. He never... And there's moments where he absolutely would be scared and confused and reacting to what was happening. Yeah. And he plays a very, very straight, like, role. Yeah. Where there's not a lot of emotion whatsoever. And I think that that's a real... That brings the film down a lot in quality because if he was reacting realistically, you... I think that it has that, like, amateur, ghost hunting, YouTuber style... And you would it would be way more believable if he was actually reacting to what was happening. But because it's all on the main actress, it just sort of feels like I don't know, like he's following her around with a camera and Sure. Isn't really there for anything else. It feels like she's there alone. Yes. Right? And he's very dismissive of mm -hmm. her feelings. And there's I mean once we're about 45, 50 minutes in, once things start to fully go down and they encounter some things, especially one in particular, which is the best part of the movie, mm. 
maybe last five to ten seconds. It's so quick. But it's freaky. And it's a moment where you're like, okay, come on. You would react. And, okay, guys, I don't know if you're the same way as me. I'm sure Kaylee would agree with me. But my life or my camera... <laughs> You would mm. definitely pick your life. But, yeah. And, like, that's sort of one of those, like, this is the problem that found footage films run into is finding that compelling reason for why you would be continuously filming. Yeah. And in this situation especially, the only reason that he continues filming is because he has no emotions and isn't afraid of anything. Because in a realistic scenario, like, you would be throwing your camera away to escape or to save yourself. But she even specifically mentions within the film, and it's part of her apology moment, which we always have in these films, that she's the one that dragged him there. Mm -hmm. That this is her project. So he's not even inclined to film. Yeah. He doesn't even really care about this project, but he's the one who's like, I'm like, I'm not in any rush to get out of here. Yeah. When she is fucked up and things are going horribly, she's so just kind of like, calm down, calm down. Like a, and you're like, <laughs> like no, calm dude, no get calm that down. girl out of there right 100%. now. You may not have any emotions. You may not care about life, <laughs> but she clearly does. And she has a very strong reason to live. Yeah. So you need to act faster. So, and there is that like mirroring of emotions, right? Like when you see someone cry, you're more inclined to feel sadness, right? If someone in a scary movie is completely without emotion and they're it not the killer, out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of just like, Okay, I guess I'm going to feel this way too because there's no fear. Yeah. I'm not saying a character without fear can't have a scary moment or scary movie attached to it, but I think it lessens the likelihood of your emotional attachment to that person's emotions because you're sitting there and they're like, oh, it's okay, everything's fine. And, and they're like not like trying to calm someone out because there's a difference, right? I mean, and we see this in Grave Encounters and we've seen this in these other movies where the person who may be a little stronger is able to console the person who's scared mm -hmm. by putting on a front yeah, but, that's but allowing different. themselves to show yeah. that they're also scared but they're like, you know, keeping it down or right. pushing it down to protect the person they feel like they need to be more, you know... Uh, strong for sure so be like okay no it's okay it's okay it's gonna yeah, be fine this guy's just difference. like no, no no it's all right like we're fine <laughs> like anyways let's just keep filming and it's like, like have you not seen enough even though i'm saying like nothing happens up until that point once it does start happening there's enough things there that you're like you need to get out yeah it definitely is compelling to make you that you would want to leave and they have a clear path out at one point in my opinion and oh, they don't take sure. it she's all about it for too. a dumbass reason yeah and that's one of those moments where you're going to be like, kind of maybe mad at her. Like, okay, fuck this guy. He's not going to come with yeah, you. Just go. Right? But she's also, well, yeah. But you've also always got to take this with a grain of salt. Because within films, you always have to take the logic of the characters mm. and the limitations of the set or whatever. And be like, well, I can't just jump out the window. <laughs> like, we just, we don't think of that. I don't know. They just <laughs> didn't. So move on from that. Like, that's not an option in their mind. Mm. but it's a fucking option. It's a very obvious option. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's too meandering. That's really the perfect word for this film. It's meandering. It's kind of, it has no direction. It kind of just wanders. And it, and this girl is kind of more giving you a tour yeah. for way too long. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think that the plot, like, you know, what's happening is wrapped into her tour of the building and, like, the history and everything. So everything she says does serve a purpose, um, but it just feels like it takes forever to get to the to the stuff. <laughs> it's an hour and 31 minutes. You could edit this down to about 45 minutes, and it would it would be a much better film because of it. Because there is some cool stuff. I think mm -hmm. the actress is... is very believable. Mm -hmm. She's attractive. 
she's got the qualities, right, that, that you want to look at. I honestly feel like had you given the director, maybe not have the actual director behind the camera and, and hire an actor to, to give him a little bit more pizzazz and, and, and some emotion uh, and maybe put another one or two people in there with them to go missing and die. Mm -hmm. Cause like when you're only focusing on one person the entire time, we never see the other person that doesn't give well, and that's... them much options for yeah. like someone disappearing, go missing, dying, whatever. You're really just kind of limited to that one screen presence. Well, and that's all the more reason why if you're going to have the cameraman be a character like he would be, then he needs to actually have, a character that he's playing sure and and, so. and and in grave encounters and in other things they're the cameramen but they also show themselves all sure. the time yeah you know lance preston and in, in grave encounters films all the time but he also turns the camera on himself like there's just nothing coming no. from this side of the screen so much to the point where you're like do you even need to be there yeah like i don't need you there and she's not given enough to be compelling. Well, she just can't carry the whole she film. She can't carry the whole the film. Problem. And she's asked to. But she's doing... She, uh, yeah, I think she's doing the a best good, of her yeah, abilities. Good job, for sure. Yes. And like you said at the beginning, I mean, the, the location is really cool. Yeah. The look of it very much fits that YouTube ghost hunter yeah. type of video. So that those are all positives, but... I think if you're, <laughs> if you're a found footage yeah. fanatic, and you're like, I want, it. I like these kinds of movies. I like the haunted asylum at night. People going in there, urban exploration type of stuff. Things start to go awry. That this is, it's watchable. I think sure. it's it's a watchable movie. I think it's fine. That's where I sit on it. There's it's fine with a couple choice moments that I'm like, ooh, I like that. Yeah. I'll remember that. I will remember one scene in particular mm -hmm. um, for a while. So it has that going for it. Uh, it just, in the end, it, it's too long mm -hmm. for what it has to offer. It should have, they should have edited it out, but they can't, right? It's one day. So they can't really, they have to commit to whatever yeah. time they came to, but they should have made it a conscious decision to be like, we have an hour here, yeah. right? And, and if you're going to use that hour and a half, way more has to happen. Way more has to happen, or there has to be more interaction mm -hmm. with compelling characters. That's why the Blair Witch is able to work. That's why Paranormal Activity is allowed to work because you got Katie and Mika, right? They're interacting, they've got chemistry. Mika's really funny. Katie's a freaking phenomenal actress who gives that really like shocking performance that you feel. And he, Mika's kind of, you know, bringing up the tension uh -huh. by calling it out, right? And then you got Josh and you got Mike and you got Heather and mm -hmm. in, in Blair Witch and, and they're really going back and forth and there's such an authenticity to it. Oh my gosh. Right. That it really builds the suspense because you start to care. And with these guys, it just isn't there. And so it's a dull film for the most part with a couple cool moments. That's that. <laughs> That's that. So found footage, yeah. fanatics only, and it's on Tubi if you'd like to watch it. So let us know. Bye. Bye.